Good morning. Today is Wednesday, January 11th, 2017. And January, I have to keep saying 2017, otherwise I forget. Come February, I'll probably forget to say that even more so. And uh, it's kind of it's kind of nice out there. It's 32 degrees. Um, I could probably walk, but I got a lot to do today, so I'll probably just walk inside the house. And as I'm looking outside, I can see that I have some wind damage I have to fix. Uh, we had wind gusting up to 60 miles an hour last night. My neighbor, two doors down, if I can find the picture, because somebody took a picture of it and put it on Facebook, uh, they have a trampoline in their front yard. They have no idea where it came from. So they posted it on Facebook. Uh, all my covers are blown off my furniture, so I have to see if they're still hopefully in the yard. If not, I'll have to check with my neighbors to see if it blew into their yard. And I'm glad we brought our lighter garbage cans in because we would have lost them completely. I know that. So, uh, like I said, I have a lot to do today. I have to go to the water department, pay my water bill because I got to have my water. And then I am going to go to Kroger's. And I don't know if you can see. Well, you can't really see. All my fruit is gone. I have two apples and two oranges, and that's all I have left. And I have uh, no vegetables. They're all gone. It's hard for me not to go more often to Kroger's, but one of my, I'm watching Dawn, Dawn's new light, and uh, she set a new goal this year that she's gonna lose weight and she's gonna get on a better budget, and she's gonna really pay attention to how she's doing. And so, uh, Dawn, I'm with you. You're gonna do it, I know it. And uh, so you should check out her channel. I'll try to remember to put a link down below. But she's, um, she's got a money goal that she's trying to put so much money aside. I'm not gonna do that. I, I am not a saver by any means. The money that automatically comes out and goes into a hidden checking account or, you know, that you can't get out, that's my kind of savings. I just spend too much. But I do find that since I'm not going to Kroger's so often, number one, I'm not spending as much money. But number two, most importantly, I'm staying away from that donut place. And uh, I'm not buying as much crap that I don't need to eat. I, I have what I need to eat in here. And... Um, that's all that matters and Jim doesn't complain he's you know like if I have sweets he'll eat it if I don't he don't he, he doesn't mind well, you know once in a while he'll ask for a snack or something and so I'll get it so the snacks that I don't like um, that I'm not a really big fan of I get for David because let's face it he's a teenage boy he's gonna snack and uh, I and you know I, I'm not I'm not one for store-bought cookies I'm not a big fan of store-bought cookies so I don't eat those but um, I'm doing really well. I have to get into my right frame of mind because I had posted yesterday that I'm back on track today. And as uh, more than one person pointed out, that when you're on Weight Watchers, as long as you're following your points and you're using your weeklies wisely, you don't, you don't need to say you gotta get back on track. You were on track. So I have to get that mindset going. It's gonna take me a little bit of time for that because I'll be honest with you, I'm still thinking of it as a diet. I know it's a new lifestyle change, and, and I'm having no problems staying within my points. And last week I didn't use my weeklies at all, and this week, even though I went to Outback on Sunday, um, I never went over my points because I used all my points in one meal, which was not the right way to do it, but that's the way I did it on Sunday. But yesterday I did, I think I used eight of my weeklies, and I get 42, so I, I, I think I'm doing okay. I didn't weigh myself. I'm going to try to just wait till Saturday to Saturday so I can be, as my nephew Steve, when he was little, used to say, apprised. <laughs> he'd never say surprised. He'd go, apprised. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, we have little sayings from our families that we keep from when they were little. Steve used to, when he was, not Steve. Yeah, Steve used to, when he was little, used to, uh, when he was in the shower, he would always sing, take a shower, take a shower. <laughs> So every once in a while I'll throw in little uh, little sayings that we've kept from our kids when they were growing up because uh, I don't know if you've noticed we're a very close family. So, All right, I'm, I got to get going. I got to drop. Alyssa and David don't have school today because um, they didn't have school yesterday, which I understand yesterday because the weather was so bad. But today I don't understand. Um, I, I, well, some of the country roads probably are hard to drive down, and so then since the buses can't get down the country roads, then they close school for the whole district because other districts around here are all open so who's to know who's to know but anyway so they're homes but Denise is gonna uh, so Kylie doesn't have school either because she's in the same school district and um, 
So uh, I'm going to be dropping Alyssa off over there so I can do some running. And I'll take you along for the ride. So come on, let's go. we got lots to do. Well, Sophia finally lost her tooth, and she just looks like a hillbilly. <laughs> so I'm going to put a picture in there, too, along with the trampoline so you can see my hillbilly granddaughter. She looks so cute. Okay, Jay Phillips was wondering, I don't know what your first name is, I don't know, you just have Jay, so I'm going to call you Jay. But anyway, um, he or she was asking me uh, which book I was reading, and um, I went and got some books, and I'm reading Harlan Colbin Home. I love this author. Uh, he is one of my favorites. Stephen King used to be my favorite, but... Somehow Harlan Coleman has repassed him. Patricia Cornwell and Janet Ivanovich, I also like them, but they don't write as many books as Harlan does, so he gets my business more so. And of course I like James Cross, or James Patterson rather, um, the Alex Cross series. He, um, I don't think he writes these books. I think he just gives you the general idea because he cranks out so many in a year, I can't think that anybody could write that many books in a year. And he always writes them with someone else. Although this one looks like he wrote it all by himself. So this might be the, maybe the Alex Cross ones. I never paid that much attention until just now. So maybe he just writes the Alan Cross ones and all the other ones he shares credit with. And Linwood Barclay is um, one of the new authors that I really like. Um, my daughter-in-law's mother put me on to him and she started me off with a three-part series and this is the third part. This is the book I ordered from the library back in November, and it finally came in. So I went and picked it up. So obviously I'm gonna read this one first because I gotta get it back to the library. And then I'll probably read Harlan Colbin, and then I'll read Cross the Line. Um, I know I'll finish this book by the weekend. I'm a pretty fast reader when I sit down to read. I can read a book in a day, or a day and a half. But that just means I didn't do anything else. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, the um, water bill is paid, so we now have water for three more months. And uh, as I was driving, I realized why I can't walk today, because it's still kind of icy. I mean, it was cold last night from all the rain. We had three inches, maybe four inches of snow yesterday morning, and it rained all day, and then we had the high gusty winds last night. And it, it did get a little cool, so uh, the snow has melted, and now it's ice. So all the more reason I'm going to walk in the house today. Okay, we're on our way to Kroger. Okay, I'm at Kroger's. I can't say that I spent any less. I'm supposed to go pay $254. That's for one week, so I think I should add up and see how much I spend usually in a week. So I got mail. For the last three days, I've gotten a text message every single day that I have mail. But I waited till today because I knew I was going to Kroger's to get my mail. There's no mail. Stood in the long line, got up to the counter, and said it's a glitch in the system. Well, don't you think they'd put something on your post office boxes, like a little printout or something, so you would know? Or I'll send you an email that they're having a problem? Oh, well. On to the bank. Boy, it's really late. But by the time I got home from running around, you know, when you don't get out of bed till 10 o'clock, makes for the day going by pretty quick. So I'm going to have a cup of tea. And a glass of water and some grapefruit, a uh, half of a tomato, an ounce of cheese, an egg, and a banana. So I started my day off with a prayer. I drank 24 ounces of water so far. I've walked 5,025 steps. And my quote is, if God gave us the gift of, oh man. My quote is, God gave us the gift of life. It is up to us to give ourselves the gift of living well. Now that I'm on Weight Watchers, I'm living well. So I have a total of 40 smart points for the day. For my breakfast, I had an egg for two points, an ounce of cheese for three points. My grapefruit, my banana, my tomato, my tea, my water are all zero points, so a total of five points. I have 35 remaining points, and I will let you know if when I eat lunch. I'm gonna have to use the microwave one because my oven, I'm using a timer. But anyway, um, I didn't eat lunch because I got busy doing laundry and straightening up around the house. So I am having a very colorful dinner. 
I have a hamburger, six ounces. Um, eight, it's 90% lean, 10% fat, with a Weight Watcher bun, some pineapple, cottage cheese, and a tomato. Unsweetened iced tea and water. So my points are six ounces of the hamburger is eight points. A slice of cheese is three points. Um, a tablespoon, I don't really use a tablespoon of ketchup, but I still put it as a point. A half a cup of cottage cheese is three points. My tomato is zero. I did check the pineapple in the can because someone said they thought it was free. I scanned it with the Weight Watcher uh, app and it shows that it's four points. And the bread was three and zero for the tea and water. So my total dinner is 23 points and I have 12 points remaining. Okay, that's it for tonight. Um, tomorrow's family dinner, so you'll get to see everybody. And I don't plan on going anywhere tomorrow, but you know, never, things will change. You never know. Uh, we just had this biggest clap of thunder. Well, first of all, we had a big bolt of lightning that lit up the whole room. Kind of, I had a, a ta detached retina a few years ago, and it was like a big flash of light. And it seemed like it was the same thing. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, am I, do I have another detached retina? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, there was this long roll of thunder. I would say it lasted at least 10 or 15 seconds. Now that doesn't seem like a long time, but stop and look at a, at a clock and time out 10 or 15 seconds. That is a long time. And now it's pouring rain. So, uh, well, I have to get going because in 10 seconds my oven's going to beep because we're having a mean roast for dinner tomorrow and I cook it the night before so I can slice it a little thinner. And here we go. It's going to beep and you're going to hear it. There you go. <laughs> Not that you care, but um, that's it. That's all, folks. See you tomorrow.